Welcome back to The Whiskey Layman. Today we're talking about Mortlock, which my wife favors. Amanda, why do you like Mortlock? I found Mortlock when we were on our trip in Scotland at the Johnny Walker store. They had an awesome flavor table. I said I like fruitier flavors in my whiskey. And the gentleman offered me some Mortlock and I have been absolutely in love ever since. I found a very sippable whiskey that is just absolutely delicious. Interesting. Okay. Well, what do you get from the smell? A lot of dark fruits like cherry. I, I'm majorly cherry. Come. Cherry. I was going to say plum, but cherry to be plum. fair, yeah. I don't know the last time I've had a plum. I just think of that as a dark fruit and I'm getting a dark fruit smell. You know, I'm not sure how I smell things anymore. <laughs> Cherry, plums, lots of stone pit fruit, lots of like peaches, things like that. Just... Okay. There's not, one thing I really like about it is the alcohol smell, the ethanol smell does not come through. Interesting, it, okay. You can tell it's whis It's a, a whiskey, but it's, mm -hmm. or scotch specifically. Uh, you can tell it's a scotch, but it, it just smells delightful. I could, yeah. Smells delightful. I'm okay, well. I'm smell it now. I'm not gonna drink it, I'm just gonna smell it. <laughs> I'm gonna taste it, because I wanna know what it tastes like. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I'm getting a lot of like, uh, latent peppery tastes to it, kind of like going down the throat. Mm -hmm. Um, The initial flavor, I'm not, positive what I'm getting. I, I could see some fruit flavor maybe. Uh, what what are you getting off of this? The pepper, 100%. Pepper? I think it has a much more upfront taste with the ethanol. The fruit smell doesn't transfer so well into the taste. Okay. Um, but it the taste isn't something that's all over the place. It comes in, there's a small bite in the beginning, and then it just goes down so smooth. For me, it's the smoothness of how okay. it goes down that I really love. That's why I can just keep sipping it all day long. Although technically I have to be, have to get things done. Uh, <laughs> so would you say that this is something that has a taste that uh, comes and goes very quickly or does it stick around for a while? You said it's very smooth. Does that mm -hmm. mean to you that the, the flavor's up front and then it's gone? Or does it stick around? It does not stick around. Okay. It doesn't go very quickly though either. It just, the tail end of it lingers. So the whole flavor doesn't linger in your mouth. And the more you sip it, the more you do start to get that stone fruit flavor. Hmm. Um, that darker, almost there's a, a pine flavor to it, I think. Like it's Really? Kind of, it's got more of that oaky flavor to it the longer you so sip. So more like a bourbon. Yes. Almost. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. But it doesn't have, it doesn't linger like a bourbon. Okay. It is most I of the flavor I think is at the tail end and that part sticks around, but it's just a hint of flavor. Okay. Flavor, which is what I really like. I would say that up front, I get a lot of various fruits. I couldn't like name one necessarily. And that the aftertaste is a bit like black pepper, but it does fade very, very quickly. And it doesn't really burn all that much. No, that's um, what I love about it. There's very, very little burn, if any. Yeah. If maybe just up front. The uh, the curious thing about Mortlock is just how different it is compared to other scotches that I mm -hmm. know that I really, really enjoy. Also the fact that I believe it says, it's yeah, dis distilled. 2.81 yeah. distilled. Um, I don't really know what 2.81 distilled mm -hmm. means. Uh, scotches have to be distilled twice. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe this qualifies as Scotch. It comes from Scotland. Yes. What is 2.81? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know the exact science, but that's the fun part. My favorite part, honestly, is that it's called the Wee Witchy. They're Mortlock 12 year. Uh, yeah, it's distilled exactly 2.81 times, which gives them. What does that mean? It get, I don't. They go through the still just almost a third time. Hey, it's Matt from the future here. While editing this video, I thought I'd add a bit of information on what exactly Mortlock's 2.81 distillation process actually is. The Mortlock distillery has six stills, three wash stills, and three spirit stills. For those of you unfamiliar with the technical details of distilling, 
Wash stills are the stills that are used first in the distillation process. They take the fermented mixture of grains, yeast, and water, known as the wash, and distill it to a product of around 20 to 25% alcohol, known as low wine. The low wine is then distilled a second time in a spirit still to get a spirit of around 60 to 70% alcohol. Mortlock's six stills are all very different shapes and sizes, however, which means they can't operate them all in three pairs of two like many other conventional distilleries would. Instead, they use a complex process wherein the first wash still and the first spirit still act as a pair, but the other four stills work together much more unconventionally. The low wines from their second and third wash stills get split. 80% goes into one spirit still, and the remaining 20% goes into the other, much smaller spirit still, known as the Wee Witchy. The Wee Witchy is run three times to produce the final spirit. The resulting spirits from all three separate spirit stills are then combined. The entire process is calculated, perhaps with a touch of humor, to be the equivalent of distilling the spirit 2.81 times. All right, all right. Putting that aside. Yes. Out of 10, what do you rate this? Uh, nine. A solid nine. Nine. Yeah. Is the, in your opinion, is there anything that qualifies as a 10? Strath Island. Okay. Strath Island. All right. Well, so in your ultimate. mind, there is the ultimate. Yes. And the ultimate is Strath Island. Yes. But this is a nine, so it's very, very close. Yep. Okay. 10 is very, very unachievable. So for Strath Island, Unachievable. Too, for anything to become a nine, nine is my go-to's. Okay. I'm happy with nines. All the, Sometimes I don't love to drink Mortlock. Every now and then I get in a different mood and I'll pick uh, typically Cardew is my go-to for other ones. Okay. I love my okay. Cardew brands. Um, but yeah, if I, I if Mortlock was the only thing, I mean, obviously you can tell I have not had this bottle for too long and it's almost gone, sadly. Uh, so I will have to be getting another one. <laughs> All right. But yeah, Strath Isle is the 10. It's, it's the unachievable 10. The unachievable <laughs> 10. All right, but Morlock is a 9. Mm -hmm. All right, in my opinion, I give it a 7.5. It's, it's good. It's not great. It's very interesting. Uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I personally probably wouldn't buy it again. I but it's if it's in the house, I'm probably going to drink it. All right, final thoughts? Can I have yours? No. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.